Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sit down video with the topic being 25 random things about myself. I decided to do this video because I think a lot of the subscribers that I have are people that I don't personally know. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for you guys to get to know me a little bit and know my background a little bit and just kind of like what made me the person I am today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got a list here. I just jotted down 25 things. They don't go in order necessarily and they don't necessarily correlate with one another. It's just whatever popped in my head. I wrote it down and I just wanted to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my Starbucks here so I'll also be taking a drink randomly. Nathan is nappy and so this is like a perfect opportunity for me to film this kind of a video. I'm not going to consider this one of my facts. It's just like a little bit about me in general. I'm 34 years old and I live in Olathe, Kansas, which is a suburb of Kansas City, Missouri. And I have lived here since 2003, so it's been quite a while. If you've watched my previous videos, you already know this, but if you're new to my channel, I am married to Kevin and we have an 18 month old son named Nathan. So let's go ahead and get started. As some of you may know, it might have also been mentioned in a previous video, I am from Iowa. I was born and raised in Clear Lake, Iowa, which is about 20 miles south of the Minnesota border, so quite a ways north. And I was born on June 23rd, 1983, and I moved to Kansas City in 2003. So I lived in Iowa for 20 years, and although Kansas City is where I consider home now, Iowa's always gonna be part of who I am, and I have a soft spot for this state, and I probably always will. My parents still live there, and my sister and her husband and family still live there, so I would say I probably make it back to Iowa about four to five times a year to visit them. I am the oldest of three. I have a younger sister and a younger brother, and like I said, my sister still lives in Clear Lake, Iowa, which is where I'm from, but my brother has actually moved down here to Olathe as well. The next thing I wanted to share is that I went to college in Des Moines, Iowa at American Institute of Business. And when I was there, I majored in court reporting and closed captioning. And that program is a program where you kind of like go at your own pace for graduation. And so sometimes it takes people longer, but I was very fortunate and got out in two years. And so I was 20 when I graduated from college and that's when I moved to Kansas City. Kind of following up with my college degree, I was a court reporter from 2003 until 2016, which is when I had Nathan. And I did two separate forms of court reporting. I first started out as a freelance court reporter, and I worked for a firm that assigned me out to different law offices. And I would go to those law offices and take depositions, and I did that for about two and a half years. And then at that point, I went to the Johnson County, Kansas courthouse, and I worked there for just a little over 10 years. And I did that, like I said, until I had Nathan. And I have a lot of stories that I love to share with you guys about my time at the courthouse. It's just absolutely crazy the things that happen and I sometimes can't believe what I hear. But it was super fun and when I was leaving that career I was actually the manager of the court reporters and so that was also a different challenge and I really enjoyed that as well. The next fact is that Kevin and I were actually friends for two years before we started dating. We met in 2009 and we started dating in January of 2011. So we definitely knew each other quite well before we started dating and actually I would consider us best friends during that time frame. So I literally started dating my best friend and married my best friend. I'm not just saying that like some people do. And so like I said, we started dating in January of 2011. He proposed to me in August of 2011 and then we got married on 11, 11, 11 in 11 in the morning. So there's a lot of 11s there and we think it's super cool. After Kevin and I got married, we went on a honeymoon on a cruise and it was the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas and we absolutely loved it. We caught the cruise bug immediately and couldn't wait to go on our next one. So much so that we actually ended up going on a cruise exactly a month later and we planned it the morning that we left. We literally woke up and said, I wanna go on a cruise. We looked up the flights, we looked up cruise information and we were on a plane within two hours. And so that was super fun. And I wanna say we've been on maybe five or six cruises since 2011. So that's definitely our thing to do. If I could be 18 years old again, I would not have gone to school for court reporting. I would have gone for event planning. And I also would have made sure that I went to a university rather than a private college because I think I would have really enjoyed a university atmosphere and going to like all the sporting events and just really being active in the community. I think that's more the alley that I wish I would have gone up, but such is life. When I was in high school, I was a cheerleader and I absolutely loved it. And it's not for the reasons that most girls become cheerleaders. I became a cheerleader because I absolutely love sports, but I didn't really have like the physique or the athletic ability to play sports. And so I figured that the next best thing was cheerleading. And so I did that for all four years when I was in high school. 
I cheered for football, basketball, and wrestling, and I absolutely loved it. My favorite sport to cheer for was actually wrestling, which I know kind of sounds a little weird, but I absolutely loved it. The girls I cheered with were so much fun, and we had a blast, especially like on the Saturday all-day tournaments. We just loved it. And another cool thing about wrestling is we were really good at wrestling, and so we always had like four to five, sometimes six or seven guys go to state, and so that just prolonged the season and made it even more fun. When Kevin and I got married, we decided that we weren't gonna have any kids. We love to travel and we go on two to three, sometimes four vacations a year, and we just didn't really see ourselves settling down to have a family. And so that was kind of the path that we were gonna go down until my sister had her son, Cameron. And then we totally changed our tune and started trying to have a family immediately. Kind of going off of my last fact, if I was younger, Kevin and I would probably have four kids. So I know that sounds kind of crazy going from like wanting no kids at all to wishing I was younger so I could have four, but I had no idea how much I was going to love being a mom. I feel like it's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in my life. So I wish I was younger so that I could have more kids because honestly we'll probably stop it too um, just due to my age and the fact that like it's just going to get harder and harder. I think part of the reason we'll only have two kids is because it has not been easy for Kevin and I to conceive children. It took us almost three years with Nathan and we're now on six months of trying for our second child. And so I'm not sure that I wanna keep like having kids until I'm in my 40s. So we'll probably only have two children, unless it's a boy, I think we'll try for a girl at that point. But that's kind of where we stand with kids right now. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys is my most embarrassing fear. And the reason I say it's my most embarrassing fear is because most people outgrow this after they're done with their childhood, but I definitely did not. I still carry it with me to this day, and because of it, I still have a nightlight in my room when I sleep at night. So as you can probably guess, my most embarrassing fear is the dark. I hate the dark. I can't stand the dark. We probably have five lights in our house that are on timers, and they're all set to turn off after I'd be well in bed because I can't stand walking around the house in the dark. It just like scares me. So that's an embarrassing fact that I don't often share, but I decided to just throw it out there. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys kind of feeds off of my fear. When I was a kid, I was scared to death of animals, like all animals, it didn't matter. I was scared of even fake animals. My parents bought me like a fake wind up dog and I would always say things like, I don't like doggy toys, and I was terrified of this little wind-up dog. It was really pathetic. So, to now say that I own three dogs of my own and absolutely love animals is really funny because I don't think anyone would have guessed that based on my childhood. It was so bad that like when we would go visit friends and family that had animals, they knew that they automatically had to put their animals like in a room completely separate from me because I was terrified of them. My favorite month of the year is October. I'm not really sure why. I don't have any birthdays that I celebrate in October. Besides Halloween, there's no other holidays that you're celebrating in October. I think part of it is because fall is just my favorite season. And I love when things start changing, like the colors, the smells, your wardrobe. I just love it all. And so whenever October rolls around every year, I get so excited and just almost have a complete attitude change. My favorite holiday is actually Thanksgiving, which may be surprising to you guys that have watched my previous videos because I go all out for Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas, and it would appear that that is my favorite holiday, but Thanksgiving is by far my favorite holiday. I absolutely love it. The turkey meal that we always have every year is my favorite meal of the year. I feel like Thanksgiving just kind of jump starts the whole holiday season, and so maybe that's why Thanksgiving is my favorite. I'm not sure, but I've always loved Thanksgiving. It's just my favorite. The next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I love music and that I love singing. I sing all the time. I sing randomly around the house. I love singing to Nathan. I sing when I'm washing dishes, when I'm taking a shower, when I'm in the car, it doesn't matter. I love singing, but I will not sing in front of people that I'm not completely 100% comfortable with. So therefore, I don't sing in public. I don't do like karaoke or sing even in front of like my in-laws. I'm terrified of it. It just completely freaks me out. And I actually think I'm a decent singer, so I don't really know why I have that fear, but it's one of my biggest fears, but one of the things that I love to do the most. The next two things I'm gonna talk about are things that I absolutely love. The first one is completely random and most people are gonna think I'm crazy, 
but I love cleaning my house. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm constantly like cleaning up after Nathan or cleaning up after myself or my husband or the dogs. I just love it. Like, I'm not just talking about like picking up after people and having a presentable house. I love deep cleaning. I love cleaning bathrooms. I love cleaning our bedrooms. I love doing laundry. Like, I love it all. So I know that a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, but I find it completely therapeutic and there's nothing more satisfying than having a completely clean house. The next thing that I absolutely love is shopping for home decorations and decorating a house. It's one of my favorite things to do and I'm so disappointed that my house is completely decorated at this point because I would love to go shopping and do it all over again. It's just my favorite thing. And kind of tying in with the decorating my house and being an event planner, the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I completely did my wedding all on my own. I didn't have an event planner and I didn't even really have input from friends or family. I completely just put together the whole thing by myself. Kevin and I built the home that we currently live in and we've lived in it for three years now. And as you can imagine, it was so much fun for me to meet with our builder and with the different vendors that we use to design the house and to decorate the inside of it. I had so much fun doing all of that and I wish that we could do it again. The best place that I've ever visited was New York City. I absolutely loved the hustle and bustle of the city. I thought it was so much fun. And while some people might think that it's just chaos to be in that kind of an atmosphere, I thrived on it and I just thought it was a blast. We did do a lot of like touristy things when we were there. I mean, we went to a Broadway show, we saw the Statue of Liberty, we went to Ground Zero, we did all of that kind of stuff, but it was like one of the best vacations I've ever been on. I absolutely loved it. If I could live anywhere in the United States, it would be in Denver, Colorado. Kevin and I lived there in 2016 for about four months for his job and I fell in love with it instantly and have been wishing that we could go back ever since. There was just like nothing like being able to get in your car on a Saturday morning and decide to just go to Breckenridge for the day or Estes Park. I mean, we would just do that all the time and it was so much fun. And it was also just like magical to walk out of Target and there's mountains everywhere. It was just gorgeous and I would do anything to live there. I am a total foodie and I'm not afraid to admit that. I love food so much. I love like going out to restaurants and trying things that I've never tried before. And I love all kinds of food. I love Chinese food. I love Mexican food. I love American food. It doesn't matter. I just love food so much. So going out to eat is one of my favorite things to do because I love trying things that I don't normally cook at home. And Kevin and I unfortunately go out to eat probably more than we should. But when you're a foodie, that's just kind of what you do. If I had to choose between beer or wine, I would choose beer 100% of the time. I love wine, but there's just something about beer that just makes me so happy, and I love trying new kinds of beer. It was definitely the thing that I missed the most when I was pregnant with Nathan, and I couldn't wait until he was born so I could have my first taste of beer, and I have to say, it did not disappoint. It was almost like having a beer for my first time. It was just perfection. I have the obvious guilty pleasures of watching like The Bachelor and Grey's Anatomy, girly shows that a lot of women like to watch, but if I had to say what my biggest guilty pleasure is, it's that I still watch Young and the Restless. I've been watching it since I was probably, actually I don't even know, I've been watching it for it seems like most of my life. We're talking way back in the day when I had a VCR and I had to set it on a timer to record Young and the Restless. I mean I've been watching this since I was like a kid and I still watch it to this day. The storylines seem to be the exact same and the characters just kind of go on repeat every year, but it doesn't matter, I still love watching it. I have no tattoos on my body at all. I've definitely considered it in the past, but I decided that I was gonna wait until I was 30, and if I still wanted a tattoo when I was 30, I was going to commit to it at that point. And so when I turned 30, I thought about it, but I just couldn't think of anything that I wanted to permanently put on my body, so I still to this day do not have a tattoo and probably never will. Although I have no tattoos, I did have my belly button and my nose pierced when I was younger. I got my belly button pierced when I was 18 and I actually only took it out recently when I was pregnant with Nathan. So I did love my belly button piercing, I thought it was really fun. And then actually when I was, I think 28 years old, I pierced my nose. So that's kind of a little bit older than most people to pierce your nose, but it was something that I had been thinking about doing for a really long time, so I went with it. 
I am totally obsessed with coffee. It's the first thing that I think about every morning when I wake up. I can't wait to come downstairs and brew my first cup. And I try to only have one cup a day because I know that it's not good for you. However, sometimes I have to have a little bit of an afternoon pick me up, which is why I'm actually drinking a Starbucks right now. And my addiction to coffee is so bad that my three-year-old niece even knows how much I love coffee. She said to my sister-in-law that coffee is for moms and Aunt Amanda's. So I think I probably need to tone it down a little bit. That wraps up my 25 random facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. We'll see you next time. Bye.